Trump, who vowed during the 2016 presidential campaign to move the embassy, was due to speak by phone today with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the first call since the U.S. businessman turned politician took office last week Friday. Any decision to break with the status quo is likely to prompt protests from U.S. allies in the Middle East, such as Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Egypt. The White House announcement came as the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, met Jordan's King Abdullah in Amman today to discuss the embassy move. Abbas has previously stated that the peace process could be damaged if Trump goes ahead with his plan. The U.S. Congress passed a law in 1995 describing Jerusalem as capital of Israel and saying it should not be divided, but successive Republican and Democratic presidents have used their foreign policy powers to maintain the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv and to back negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians on the status of Jerusalem. In early December, then-President Barack Obama renewed the presidential waiver until the beginning of June. It is unclear whether Trump would be able to legally override that waiver and go ahead with relocation of the embassy. U.S. diplomats say that despite the U.S. legislation, Washington's foreign policy is in practice broadly aligned with that of the United Nations and other major powers, which do not view Jerusalem as Israel's capital and do not recognize Israel's annexation of Arab East Jerusalem after its capture in the 1967 Middle East War. Israel approved building permits today for hundreds of homes in three East Jerusalem settlements in expectation that Trump will roll back on his previous administration's criticism of such projects. Vanessa Knight, MTV World News.